So hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So after nating i-discuss yung remainder theorem, okay, using two methods, yung pag-calculate ng P of R, wherein R is a constant. Okay, it's either positive, negative integers, or zero. Then for this particular video lesson, so factor theorem naman ang ating pag-uusapan. Anyway, sa factor theorem, magagamit pa rin po dito yung uh, synthetic division. So, let's start. So, for our lesson objective, determine if x minus r is a factor of p of x using the factor theorem. Okay. So, yung x minus r natin dito is yung divisor. And then, titignan natin kung yung x minus r ba na yun is factor siya ng given polynomial using factor theorem. So, what is factor theorem? The polynomial p of x has a factor x minus r if and only if p of r is equal to 0. So, ang ibig sabihin lang po ng factor theorem, masasabi natin na yung x minus r, factor siya ng polynomial kapag ang nakuha nating remainder ay equal to 0. So, dapat 0 po ang makukuha nating remainder. Kapag hindi 0 ang nakuha nating remainder, ibig sabihin lang nun, yung x minus r, hindi siya factor ng given polynomial p of x. So, kapag alimbawa, nakuha natin remainder is 2, negative 5. Ibig sabihin, not factor siya. So, let's have example number 1. Show that x minus 5 is a factor of x squared plus 4x minus 45. So, sa paggamit ng factor theorem, ang pinaka uh, magandang ginagamit na method dito is synthetic division. So, para makita natin agad kung factor ba siya or not factor. So again, factor po siya kapag zero yung remainder. Kapag hindi zero yung remainder, not factor. So let's start number one. So using synthetic division, so sulat lang natin yung mga coefficients ng x squared four plus four x minus forty five. So x squared the uh, the coefficient is one, four x four, and then the constant term negative forty five. And then, x minus 5, so negative 5, magiging positive 5. So, and then we bring down 1 times 5, that is 5. And then we add 4 plus 5, that is 9. And then finally, 9 times 5, that is 45. Then we add negative 45 plus 45, that is 0. So, since 0 po yung ating remainder, we can therefore say that x minus 5 is a factor of x squared plus 4x minus 45. Okay? So, as you can see naman, nakuha nating remainder is 0. So, x minus 5 is a factor of x squared plus 4x minus 45. So, yung isa pang factor ng given polynomial natin is, ayan, yung... I-transform lang natin yung mga coefficients na nakuha nating sagot. Yung 1 tsaka 9. So, yung isang factor ng x squared plus 4x minus 45 is x plus 9. Next, example number 2. Is x minus 2 a factor of x cubed plus 8? Okay. So, as you can see, yung ating given polynomial p of x may mga missing terms. So, yung mga missing terms po sa pagitan ng x cubed and 8, yung x squared, tsaka x. Wherein, kapag gumamit tayo ng synthetic division, so, isusulat po natin yung mga missing terms as 0. So, depende po yung bilang ng 0 sa mga nawawalang terms. So, using synthetic division, so, since dalawang terms yung nawawala nga natin, yung x squared, tsaka x, so, susulat po natin yung dalawang zero na yon sa pagitan ng coefficient ng x cubed tsaka yung constant term na 8. So, kapag hindi po natin sinulat yung mga missing terms as zero, automatically po yung sagot po natin ay mali. Okay? So, kapag walang nawawalang terms, there are no missing terms, we don't need to write zero kasi wala namang nawawala. Okay? So, the coefficient of x cubed that is 1. And then, yung dalawang missing terms, we write two zeros. And then, yung constant term natin, 8. 
and then x minus 2, so since negative 2, magiging positive 2. And then next step, bring down 1, 1 times 2, that is 2, and then 0 plus 2, that is 2, 2 times 2, that is 4, and then 0 plus 4, that is 4, and then finally, 4 times 2, 8. So 8 plus 8, that is 16. So as you can see, the obtained remainder is 16, which is not 0. So ano masasabi natin dito sa given natin yan? Since hindi 0 yung remainder, x minus 2 is not a factor of x cubed plus 8. Okay, so not factor po siya. It's because yung remainder natin hindi po 0, 16. So let's have number 3. Show that x plus 3 is a factor of 2x cubed plus x squared minus 13x plus 6. So yung given polynomial natin is written in standard form. And then wala din siya missing terms. So using synthetic division, so sulat lang natin yung coefficients ng p of x. 2x cubed, the coefficient is 2. x squared, that is 1. Negative 13x, that is negative 13. And then the constant term, 6. And then x plus 3, since positive yung 3, yung r, so it will become negative 3. And then we bring down to 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6. 1 plus negative 6, that is negative 5. And then negative 5 multiplied to negative 3, that is positive 15. Negative 13 and 15, that is positive 2. 2 times negative 3, that is negative 6. And then finally, we add 6 plus negative 6, that is 0. As you can see, our remainder is 0. Since the remainder is 0, therefore, x plus 3 is a factor of the given polynomial p of x, which is 2x cubed plus x squared minus 13x plus 6. For example, number 4, show that x plus 6 is a factor of x to the 4th power plus 4x cubed minus 9x squared plus 25x minus 42. So, so you can see, yung ating given polynomial is written standard form, then wala din siyang missing terms. So let's have synthetic division. So the coefficient of x to the fourth power, that is 1, 4x cubed, 4, negative 9x squared, that is negative 9, and then 25x, 25, negative 42, the constant term. And then x plus 6, so positive 6, it will become negative 6. We bring down 1. So 1 times negative 6, that is negative 6. 4 plus negative 6, that is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 6, that is positive 12. And then negative 9 plus 12, that is positive 3. So if we add, if we multiply 3 by negative 6, that is negative 18. So 25 plus negative 18, so follow the sign of the bigger value, so that is 7. And then 7 times negative 6, that is negative 42. Negative 42 plus negative 42 is negative 84. So you can see, negative 84 yung nakuha nating remainder. So, hindi ibig sabihin na nakita natin sa problem that show that ganito is a factor of the p of x. Agad-agad, zero na remainder. So, let's check pa rin using synthetic division. As you can see, the obtained remainder is negative 84, not zero. Therefore, x plus 6 is not a factor of x to the fourth power plus 4x cubed, minus 9x squared, plus 25x, minus 42. 
Let's have the last example. Find the value of k for which the binomial x minus 4 is a factor of x to the 4th power minus kx squared plus 20x minus 32. Okay, so yung value ng k po dito ang hinahanap natin. Wherein, kailangan nating i-prove din na yung x minus 4 factor siya ng given polynomial. Kaya lang, kailangan muna natin kunin yung k bago natin ma-prove na factor nga siya. So, for our solution, if x minus 4 is a factor of x to the 4th power minus kx squared plus 20x minus 32, then p of 4 is equal to 0. So, kung fa dahil factor nga siya nung given polynomial, yung x minus 4, of course, dapat yung remainder, 0. So, paano natin gagawin yon? Sulat muna natin p of x equals x to the 4th power minus kx squared plus 20x minus 32. And then, we substitute 4. So, p of 4 equals the quantity of 4 raised to 4 minus k times 4 squared plus 20 times 4 minus 32. And then, since factor yung x minus 4 ng given polynomial natin, p of x. So, equate natin sa 0. And then, 4 raised to the 4th power, that is 256 minus k times 4 squared, that is 16. Plus, 20 times 4, that is 80 minus 32. And then, 0 equals 256, so negative k times 16, that is negative 16k, plus 80 minus 32. And then, yung negative 16k, kailangan natin siyang mailipat sa left side. Kasi, we have to combine like, like terms. So, kapag linipat natin yung negative 16, magiging positive 16. So, 16k equals 256 plus 80 minus 32. So, rewrite natin, 16k equals, so, 256 plus 80, that is 336. Minus 32. So, 16k equals 336 minus 332, that is 304. And then, we divide both sides by 16 para mawalang numerical coefficient ng k. So, k is equal to 304 divided by 16, 19. So, the value of k is 19. So, since the value of k is 19, so, pwede na natin siyang i-prove ngayon using synthetic division. So, kahit naman na, na indicate na sa problem na yung x minus 4 is factor siya ng given polynomial, so, we, we still need to show that factor talaga siya. So, madali lang naman siyang i-prove kasi synthetic division naman ang ginagamit. So, let's start. So, x to the 4th power minus 19x squared plus 20x minus 32 divided by x minus 4. As you can see, may missing terms tayo, missing term tayo which is x cubed. So, pagkatapos ng x to the 4th power, dapat yung term yung may x cubed. Kaya lang, ang kasunod niya is yung x squared. Big sabihin, kailangan natin magsulat ng 0 sa pagitan ng dalawang terms na ito. So, x to the 4th power, numerical coefficient is 1. And then, yung missing term natin, yung x cubed. And then, negative 19x squared, the numerical coefficient is negative 19. 20x, that is 20. And then, the constant term, negative 32. And then, x minus 4. So, since negative 4, magiging positive 4. And then, next step, we bring down 1. So, 1 times 4, that is 4. Then, we add 0 plus 4, 4. 4 times 4, that is 16. Negative 19 plus 16. So, we follow the sign of the bigger value, yung negative 19. So, and then we subtract 19 minus 16, that is 3. And then, magiging negative 3. Then, negative 3 times 4, that is negative 12. So, 20 plus negative 12, that is positive 8. 
So, don't forget to follow the sign of the bigger value kapag unlike sign. And then, instead of adding, subtract po ang operation. So, let's continue. 8 times 4, that is 32. Finally, negative 32 plus 32, that is 0. As you can see, malinaw na malinaw, yung ating nakuwang remainder is 0. Therefore, we can, we can really say that x minus 4 is a factor of the given polynomial, which is x to the 4th power minus 19x squared plus 20x minus 32. So, after nating i-discuss yung factor theorem, so, I hope naging clear yung discussion natin with regards to this theorem. So, tatandaan lang, factor, factor yung x minus r nung p of x if and only if the obtained remainder is 0. Otherwise, hindi po siya magiging factor. So, after discussing the factor theorem, of course, our next lesson is also another theorem. Okay, so, the next theorem that we will be discussing is the rational root theorem. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.